let's talk a little bit more about the reality of the mahabharat the one thing i've always questioned even as a kid was what were rakshasas hmm when you talk about hidimba yeah. ghatotkach yeah. bakasur uh effectively if you truly try uh attaching it to reality was bakasur some kind of a cannibal hmm like just a really well built cannibal was uh hidimba and hidim also something similar and then if that's the case why do we have a hidimba temple in himachal pradesh hmm. where they say that oh this is actually where he lived near khir ganga which is now known for stoners hmm. who <laughs> go up to trek to khir ganga right but there is a hidimba temple there yeah um that's one question second question attached to that is this is something very very fascinating i learned from a parsi priest who was on the show hmm. what he spoke about was that zoroastrians are also an ancient culture mm. and i've really deep dived into zoroastrianism which is the religion of the parsis i figured that it's perhaps definitely the sister religion of sanatan dharma i'm pretty convinced i agree uh even when you talk about the modern um practices it's literally in parallel with sanatan dharma be it worshiping fire be it mantras be it avastha how we have sanskrit uh now in their mythology the word daiva was villainous yes in our mythology the word asura was villainous yeah cute fact uh in their mythology ahura is noble hmm. like it is uh, the name of the angels yeah and they pronounce sir as her we have somras they have homras yes so their ahura is it our asura and their daiva is it our dev correct now if again if we try attaching these pieces of culture to reality perhaps we were two warring tribes and um in our epics the asuras are painted sort of as villainous but if you actually study the vishnu puran if you actually study the ramayan there are some slightly heroic asuras as well so it's not like you're painting all of them as negative you're painting most of them as negative with some exceptions and i'm 100% sure that they would say the same about daiva and deva yeah uh also they were based out of central asia iran uzbekistan all these places 